I think we boot up, activate the frog detective. Hey, you guys like the joke in the descript in the in the in the title? Good one, right? And then the crowd erupts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll start. I'll start. Dude, this is way too much. Okay, ring, ring. Hello. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. <laughs> just, these are the two bros in the locker room, dude. Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. You had a wife, bro? Really? You had a wife? I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. So he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks, and they can't find anything. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, Sir Professor. He's becoming, he's becoming, my, my frog detective is becoming more Southern. I'll do it. Wahoo. She's got the truck nuts voice is insane. <laughs> Your voice for the frog sounds like the real American hero guy from those old Budweiser commercials. Where, what, what, what are you talking about? I've never heard of that. Is this LA, is this like LA New War? This is pro, uh, the vibe I'm getting is this is LA New War for queer people. Uh, hold on. What voice do we use? Ah, you have, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I don't know what this voice is. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. When you figured out who is behind the forest theft in Witch Town, I couldn't believe it's becoming more Southern too. Bud Light presents Real American Heroes. Real American Heroes. Today we salute you, Mr. Bass Plaque Maker. Mr. Bass Plaque Maker. Only a true artist like yourself can turn five pounds of dead fish into a work of art. No fish you smell now. What you is this? Say, dude, what the I fuck is this? Nice dude, cold, what is... Light, American ads fuck me up, dude. What is... There are 50 of these. There are 50 of these American over heroes. 51 minutes. Ah, uh, that'd be mountain. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't One catch him here. Move. And we're on the best hmm, train Very interesting. All invested. And I love your Bud Light. Hi, folks. It's me, Larry. I did not do it. No. The noises are not coming from me, folks. Imagine Ramola is your DM and one third of the characters are Trump because she has three voices. <laughs> Are you list the ingredients for the explosive device again? Toothpaste, some woo, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. All right, let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need toothpaste. <laughs> so, dude, there's this is gonna be this is gonna be a problem. Dude, look at how many characters there are. You know I don't have these many voices. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. The boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Uh, nice. <laughs> I don't have any idea where to find one though. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, that was my impression of you. I don't have any idea where to find one though. <laughs> Animal Crossing voice. Animal Crossing voice. Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that that monkey keeps going on about. I'm so glad they finally brought someone. <laughs> I'm so. Fuck, <laughs> it's about to be Blanche again. I'm so glad they finally brought it. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really should not update this stuff. Alex Jones. <laughs> How, that is actually Alex Jones. It does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. <laughs> they seem otherworldly. They have a weird and distinct tone. Dives. It sounds like a bird's call. These voices are, are difficult, dude. Um, there's no way. No, I'm I'm doing like 10 different characters. Wah, who are you? <clears throat> Hold on. I, I I didn't mean to startle you. I'm a frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. You're, you seem super nervous, bro. Is there anything I can do to help? <laughs> is, there, is there anything I can do to help, bro? You ever been to the locker room? You know I'm a good detective, right? I've helped every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. You know what? It's like a it's like a scale, right? Like you know, like a, a huge left and right scale. The center is Ramola, the left is Blanche, and the far right is is Trump in this context. All my voices are gradually moving towards the left or right as I do these voices. I have to be careful. Well, is it okay if I have some questions? You have some questions. Questions, yes. Bro, you're nervous. Oh, I <laughs> shit, shit, too far left, too far left, a little, a little back, a little back. Oh, I didn't ha actually have a dream about that. Damn, your extreme detective skills. 
I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog. <laughs> Fuck, it's Blanche. <laughs> it's Blanche again. I actually can't control Blanche. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Damn, this, is, this is hard. This is hard. <laughs> but can you do Donald? Dude, no one can do Donald. My phone. <laughs> do I know anything about the cave? No. <laughs> I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I would be so deeply impressed. <laughs> I would want to hang out with them. And fuck you, you guys are fucking up my groove. I start, I, I'm, I'm killing it on the voices, dude. And then you guys are like, oh, what is a shitty voice? And then I lose it, dude. Hey, bro. What, the, what voice did I do for Noodle again? No, Larry, the Larry was Trump. Larry. You know what I really like about Frog Detective? I gotta say it, his pants. He's got a fit going on, you know? I just made some dynamite. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. I like this head cannon. The frog just being absolutely shit faced, like just drank the whole day, and then it all ends with like, "Did frog detective? We had, we've got enough for the dynamite. Why don't we blow up this cave?" And he's just like, <laughs> "Oh shit! Oh shit! I just, I just fell down. Oh fuck! Have you seen it go no. It doesn't mean down here. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. Fantastic. Would you wake straight? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion. <laughs> That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. <laughs> He's actually drunk. He's actually shit-faced. What are we dense? I just want to say thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. Barfs. Look at the dancing. <laughs> Frog Detective is barfing after this, dude. Another game down. But there's two more to go. This is a cute game. Oh, the dance. I know that dance. I've I've done that dance unironically before. <laughs> He's actually shit faced. Actually so drunk. You do, you only dance like that if you are like five drinks deep, dude. Cute, you got another picture. What can you tell me about this new gauge? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly. So they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea! Absolutely, but someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. You think you can solve this mystery? Yup! <laughs> yup! Oh, I forgot to mention, the new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. And a, and a wizard! <gasps> Lobster cop. Oh, it's the famous frog detective. <laughs> it's becoming Mario. The, the third, the third column has arrived. My Mario impression is at the end of the top top row, which is just high pitched voices. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Oh yeah, you're going right. Worm Club. This is my kind of game. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. What? What are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. This is becoming more like a uh, what's it called? Fucking Maximilian Pegasus impression, dude. Yugi boy, frog detective. Your cards are no good. Ooh, look at that. Ralph. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus. Needs building supplies. Loves pirates. I is cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. Parentheses, I am not. Oh, my stars, Nya. It's you, Nya. It's me. The famous lobster cop, Nya. Uh, I really thought you'd be a lobster, Nya. I uh, don't. No, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name lobster cop, Nya? Do you know the wizard personally? 
Nobody knows it personally. Fuck. Oh, you got a lot of voices, Susan. Nobody knows it personally, folks. <laughs> Making some progress, guys. This detective be detectiving. Needs someone thing to fix her sign. Progress. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Who are you? <laughs> this, is, this is the detective and more, more drunk. I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. <laughs> That's the vault. She's the wizard. Uh-huh. And she is invisible. Great! And she just moved in. And she is a wizard. Everyone in the, in my frog detective universe is shit faced. Please don't put me in jail. <laughs> you're not you're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. So like I heard that Ralph is super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty like actually attacked the wizard one time. And that's all actually. Does this make me a snitch? <laughs> I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La. What will you give me in exchange? Information. <laughs> what kind of information? A phone number. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Being conceited is a social construct. We have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits among other things. <laughs> This voice sounds like it's gonna show me prizes on the price is right. Yes, detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked. <laughs> Eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? <laughs> Please take one money as an apology. Got one money. That it's the frog detective says I'll hop to it. Isn't that crazy? Hello, is anyone home? I know you're in there. I know you're in there. I see you in there. Let me in! <laughs> imagine, imagine having a, a drunk ass frog just <laughs> banging on your door. Oh, I've solved the case. You know why she's the invisible wizard? Because she just doesn't go outside. The real, the real like case here is that the frog detective came the night before, just drank a shit ton, fucked up the place, left and then came back. This is just Disco Elysium, dude. Wait, let me in, I got your glasses. <laughs> Ah! I drank too much. I'm sorry, I've been drinking. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Uh, I found your glasses, I think. <laughs> ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I, I don't mean to ruin the surprise when the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. I was on Whizbang. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah. I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. What? <laughs> enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy. Are you making this up? No. Evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean uh, evil guy. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended. But at least we can continue on with our lives. Look me in the eyes and, and tell me if you're telling the truth right now. <laughs> it was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? What? Ta-da! Whoa! You're a frog like me! Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What a dick! Well, it's just I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were a lizard. Oh no. Wow! So you're not an invisible lizard after all. <laughs> You're an invisible lizard! <laughs> this is actually catering to the shit-faced friend that gets home late. Hello. Hi. My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I'm a frog. You're like me. <laughs> We're so glad you could make it, Lola. We're sorry that someone destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. I didn't do it. 
I didn't do it, folk. What should I do? I feel bad for Lola. I would do the same if I was a teenager. But that is supporting February. I think, I think it'll be, it'll be growing. They will understand. That's what I think, too. It was Lola. It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses while making up shoes on with me. Lola gets you without her glasses and she had let Triple get home last night. She bumped uh, everything. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. I ran over Mary by accident. <laughs> yeah. Another finished game, dude. All this plays, I'm gonna refill my water. I'm gonna need it for the last one. You guys said it was longer than average, so. Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. It sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. No one is ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> I just got a call about a doozy of a case detective. I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. This may have to be my game of the year, 2023. Look at my notebook. <gasps> no way. Who's stealing my shit? Cowboy County. Yeah, I mean, I have a cave as Lobster Cop. I sure can. Friendship. Oh, true, true, true. Marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. So anyway, I lost where I was going with this. Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled. Oh. I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting the new sheriff of Cowboy County. Sheriff Mason Mole. Well, I, I got all back to the office. No. No, mystery. Pray, mystery. Please solve this. What are you measuring? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. All the hats in the town have been stolen. Well, you heard the sheriff. I would say it's more like a lack of evidence of it not being true. I agree to disagree. Yeah, I'll be agree to be right. You agree to be wrong. This cow is psycho, dude. This cow is psycho. That's what I say every time I turn the stream on. You don't mean that. What is it? Do you see those portraits on the... Do you see those portraits on the wall? They're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Also, please stop puking on the carpet. Wow. The perfect crime. <laughs> I live in 100 Skeleton Street. Slippery Pond. <laughs> Did you just give me your full address? Yeah. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? I need to know where I live. <laughs> he is actually shit faced. You have a great point. <laughs> Whoa, hey. The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Tell people where you live, because how else they uh, even know you live in a mansion? To be honest with you, detective, I was needing to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, I was just, it was filled before I got here. Yeah, you know, by some rando. Not necessarily, you could talk to Mason Mole and show him, and he could be coaching her. That's a great idea. I will simply beat up Mason Mole. Just don't trust his face. He needs to learn. Some non-violent conflict resolution skills. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually, I'd love to illustrate them. I would love that. I'm, I don't have much money. Yeah, you drink, you drink a lot and uh, you don't seem to have much money because of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. What about putting on a hat? Uh, no comment. Your head is a weird shape. I, uh, I know this. Anyway, you mentioned you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah. Uh. Ha, <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Uh huh. By two. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. 
I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of getting the regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. I kept asking them if they wanted to hear my Mario impression, and they did not like it. Let's go! They don't want to hear my Mario impression. You need help workshopping? I'm pretty good. Uh, I would love that. No one else here gets me, so maybe you do. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal <laughs> from a sack. <laughs> from a snack! <laughs> N nice! <laughs> I start sweating. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. <laughs> he finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. Because he was bored! But just ahead to his shock. He's all confident on, on the rock. Um, okay, sure. Aha! It's perfect! The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite in front of a cow. That's good! Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the miserable hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them! Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time to be going for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? Why are you doing this bitch? It's amazing, Mo. It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. But I don't. Not yet. Sherman winks. Anyway. Yeah, this is kind of kind of gay gay, but it's cool. There's a thing for sloths like gold. Uh, why do you ask, dude? My friend Martin is a sloth and loves gold. You made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Uh, yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. This guy's flirty. The frog is so insensitive. Just fuck Sherman. I don't know. I find it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. He wants to fuck Sherman. Yeah, sure. Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, well, you're wrong. No. No. What? Take them. Are they evidence? Not yet. Cool. <laughs> okay. I feel so nosy talking to him. Haha. -ha. What did you ask me for? I didn't ask you for anything. Oh. Let's see. This. Okay. What is, what is going on? I drank too much. What the fuck? What's this one? That's just Northern Lion, isn't it? That's just Northern Lion. Change energy to it. Yeah, I just feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like he's seen too much. <laughs> uh, a man who has left a thousand lives. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it. We'll have to wait and see. I don't remember what voice I did for this guy. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I'm nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal from his sack. <laughs> Fuck. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off because he was bored. With just a head to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. They, the, the crowd erupts. The crowd erupts. Look at that. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the t t title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after the detective arrived. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you noticed your hats go missing. Yeah, 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 I, that did happen. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. <gasps> Whoa, what? 
I have been presented a piece of evidence by our own Mason Mall that ties a detective to the crime. Whatever it is. <laughs> this? Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone drew eyebrow on me. I don't even have eyebrow. It's a well-known fact you cannot wear hats because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, detective. The Danganronpa music starts playing. Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Sag. Peepo sad. The bad room. And I still have my magnifying glass. Wait, that's it? He just goes to jail? That's the fucking ending? He just goes to jail? There's- wait, is that actually a bad ending? Are you trolling me? Is this real? <laughs> if you make a different voice, the ending will change. Oh. Frog Detective learns how to use a laptop. www.frogdetective.net slash blog.html To my loyal frog blog readers. <laughs> I have been sentenced to the bad room. What voice did I give Mystery Monkey again? Was it Trump? Oh no, this is Blanche, I think. This is terrible. I can't believe this. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real. Let's not jump to any conclusions here. I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Oh shit. Sailor Moon. I'm playing as the monkey now. The memories, dude. Do you remember these times? Detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. You're actually stumbling around. Had some of Frog Detective's alcohol, dude. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? A copy of the detective's notebook. Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. There's a heart at the end. A note. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking a position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best, folks. <laughs> I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Moore and Lobster Cop coordinate the takedown of our beloved Frog Detective. Who would do such a Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Mystery Monkey, Supervisor, what are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room. Or that anyone would want to visit me. This is ridiculous. Lobster Cub, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. He shed a tear. This is all a mistake, folks. No Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agents. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. And now that that's been all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is now no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective is... Congratulations to... Mystery Monkey! The crowd erupts! Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey! What an achievement! I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. Of course, he wants a party in the bar. I didn't even think about that. You're right. <laughs> he's first hour out of jail and he's already back. He's already back <laughs> drinking. Great game. I liked it. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Oh, it's going to be his birthday party. Watch. Watch. I already know. It's going to be a birthday party. Surprise. I knew it. See, I'm smart. Oh, Larry was my Trump voice. Well, detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Our town has never been so peaceful. Thanks to you. I can't even remember it. What the voice I did for him. It worked. Oh, look. Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? Open it up. What's my gift? <gasps> Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? It's easy, detective. It's a hat. I 
can't wear hats. <laughs> Detective being blinded by the lights turning on, wiping coke off his nose. Where's <laughs> your I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Aw, oh, that's so cute. Oh, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. Aww. <laughs> I'm actually tearing up at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that's so cute. <laughs> I've never felt so many emotions. <laughs> Emotions. This is truly what being human is all about. <laughs> yeah, there's two games that have made me cry on stream, but Celeste and Frog Detective. Oh, Sherman! Look! Sherman and Frog Detective went on a date. This may be the cutest game I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I butchered it for six, <laughs> for six hours doing a Trump impression over it. <laughs> I broke my leg. What? <laughs> Why is everything so happy but but Naughty broke their leg? I give this game a high rating.